There are three online master's degree in computer science programs offered by top 10 computer science departments for a low cost. One of the programs is the Georgia Tech OMSCS, which is the pioneering MOOC style master's degree in CS program and far and away the most popular option on the market. Second, you have the Illinois MCS, which is currently the most prestigious CS department offering a MOOC program per 2021 rankings. Lastly, you have the latest edition in the University of Texas Austin's MCS program. I'm gonna compare these three programs and give my opinion on each. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Will. I'm an engineering manager and online master's degree student. And on this channel, I share my experiences with online learning and my growth as a software developer. I'm gonna compare these three programs on the five factors I always use when evaluating programs. Let's jump right into it. First, let's talk about prestige ranking and peers. As I mentioned before, all three programs have fantastic computer science programs and are well-known globally and well-respected in the US job market. At the time of this video, US News has Illinois ranked as the fifth best computer science school, Georgia Tech is the eighth best computer science school, and UT Austin ranked 10th. Rankings and programs change every year, but all the schools have been in the top 10 for as long as I've been tracking them, and I wouldn't anticipate them moving from outside the top 10 anytime soon. Looking specifically at the online CS Master programs, there is no direct comparison on rankings or prestige, but the OMS CS is the most well-traveled road with more than 10,000 students actively enrolled in the program at any given time. The Illinois MCS and the UTA MCS haven't been available as long as the OMS CS, so they don't have as many students enrolled in their programs, if that's a factor for you. On the other hand, smaller class sizes can be a pro at times. I put the peers, aka the other students enrolled in the program with you, into the factors to consider because these are the people you'll be working with side by side for two years or more. You'll be taking courses that will require group projects or collaboration with other students in the class, so it's in your best interest to be working with the best talent. Not only will you have better coursework experience, you'll learn new techniques and problem solving skills directly from your peers which to me is where the real value of these programs lie. The profile of the student enrolled in these three programs will be quite similar. All three programs require a bachelor's degree and a 3.0 GPA or higher. The Illinois MCS is a little bit more selective than the OMSCS, but I don't have enough data points on the UTA program to know how selective it is. Regardless, these programs aren't gonna let anyone with a pulse in and degrade their brand, so you can feel confident that you'll be working with top flight students in your chosen program. If rankings mean a lot to you, the Illinois MCS is the winner here. If you see enrollment size an important factor, the OMS CS is the winner here by a pretty good margin. The next factor to consider is course catalog. Course catalog to me is the most important factor when evaluating programs. You're gonna enroll into a CS master's program to learn specific skills to achieve your goals for joining the program. You wanna pick a program that offers courses and specialization tracks that meet your goals. Georgia Tech and Illinois programs offer options to specialize. The OMS CS course catalog is much deeper than the Illinois MCS catalog and offers more specialization tracks. The OMS CS offers specializations in computational perception and robotics, computing systems, interactive intelligence, and machine learning. The MCS has two distinct degree tracks, one being the normal MCS track and the other being the data science track, also called the MCS DS. UTA doesn't have designated specialization tracks like the other two programs. Rather, you take one course in three core focus areas in applications, systems, and theory, and then it opens the rest of the program with the other seven courses being electives. Each program has their niches and has better offerings than others. It depends on what you're looking to learn to pick the best, but here are my thoughts. The OMS CS has the largest available course catalog and the most specialization choices. If you're looking to learn about robotics or just general CS topics, it's probably the best choice. Illinois MCS has a dedicated data science track and it's the more popular two specializations in the program. If data science is what interests you most, Illinois is the winner here. UT Austin has the most core, theory-focused CS courses of the program, so you're looking for a traditional CS education, this could be a good fit. The next factor to consider is platform. Platform is an underrated factor when it comes to evaluating programs. To me, this is a very important factor to consider because you'll be interacting with the platform your program is built on almost daily, so you want to enjoy the experience. The OMS CS teamed up with Udacity to deliver their course content, but I've heard that they're migrating away from that and moving on to Canvas. The Illinois MCS program is delivered on Coursera and UT Austin uses edX as their delivery platform. All these platforms are battle tested and have millions of users on each platform. It's safe to say none of these platforms will be going away anytime soon. If you use any of these platforms and absolutely hated them, then I would weigh that into your selection. At the time I was applying to programs, I gave the Illinois MCS a slight advantage 
because I have had good experiences with Coursera. The next factor to consider is regional appeal. The regional appeal of a program is another factor I don't think gets enough attention from individuals evaluating online CS degrees. Granted, these are online programs, so there's a very high likelihood that you'll never step foot on campus at the program of your choice or even remotely close to it. You do, however, have a job and a future career path to think of, and the regional appeal of your chosen program can open more doors for you than a program with little brand recognition in your chosen job market. Luckily, Illinois, Georgia Tech, and UT Austin have huge alumni networks for their respective departments and great appeal nationwide. That doesn't, however, mean that they're equals in all job markets. For example, in the Midwest, Illinois MCS will hold the most weight due to regional proximity and alumni base. The same can be said for the Atlanta job market for the OMSCS and the Texas Tech job market for UT Austin MCS. If you're looking to leverage alumni base for job hunting, you'll find people from these two programs scattered everywhere but they'll be heavily concentrated in certain markets that are in regional proximity to the respective schools. For example, if you want to work in the Austin tech market, the UT Austin option will likely be your best fit. The next factor is cost. For most traditional college decisions, cost is a humongous factor when it comes to evaluating a program. Sometimes cost alone can eliminate potential candidates for schools to attend because they're too pricey. Here's the deal. The OMSCS will cost you under $8,000 to complete. The Illinois MCS will cost you around $22,000 to complete, and the UT Austin MCS costs around $10,000. They're all cheap and are all great values. In most situations, most or all three of these programs will be covered by company tuition reimbursement and will have very little personal financial impact on the student themselves. For that reason, cost shouldn't be a terribly large factor when it comes to looking at these programs. When it comes down to it, you really can't go wrong with any of these programs since they are so well respected and have great course offerings. If you're looking for one factor to focus on, to me it should be course catalogs and finding a program that most aligns with your learning goals. If you're interested in learning more about enrolling into an online CS Master's degree program, check out my short playlist on the process. See you in there.